Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, we continue with our topic of discussion on the production in plants and animals. And at this stage, we are discussing uh, the sexually transmitted infections, whereby we have discussed a number of them. And lastly, we shall discuss HIV and AIDS. So HIV AIDS is one of the uh, sexually transmitted infections and uh, we'll find out what is the cause and this is caused by a virus called human immune virus that is uh, abbreviated as HIV and uh, this virus the virus is responsible for now the condition for the condition called AIDS called acquired immune deficiency syndrome which is AIDS so HIV is the virus and then the conditions that, the condition that comes as a result of that is called AIDS uh, the mode of transmission so the mode of transmission uh, we're saying that uh, one is by sexual intercourse with infected people through blood transfusion with infected blood three are sharing surgical equipments and needles so all those are some of the ways in which it can be transmitted it can also be transmitted from mother to child through breast feeding or at birth either of that so we are saying that uh, hiv aids is caused by a virus human immune in fact you can call it human immunodeficiency virus known as the hiv human immunodeficiency virus whereby uh, the immune system is compromised leading to what you are calling immunodeficiency the virus is responsible for now the disease or the infection that is called the aids acquired immune deficiency syndrome the modes of transmission there are a number of them we have talked about the most common which is sexual intercourse with infected people with the people who are hiv positive through blood transfusion with infected blood a uh, sharing of surgical equipment and needles that is uh, injection needles uh, from mother to child through breastfeeding or uh, at birth
symptoms uh, it does not it does not show symptoms until at advanced stages it does not show symptoms until at advanced stages where diarrhea and weight loss may be some of the symptoms that may be witnessed when the disease has really uh, gone on. So basically what happens is that uh, uh, the HIV virus weakens the immune system weakens the immune system making the patient susceptible or prone to attack susceptible to opportunistic infections to opportunistic infections such as TB and so on and so forth. So basically that is in terms of the symptoms. Uh, then uh, we look at uh, prevention and control. The disease has no cure and therefore the best way to deal with it is by prevention and control. So avoid indiscriminate sex whereby a person has many sexual partners. Blood should be screened. before transfusion surgical equipment like the scalpels and needles should be sterilized Use of condoms during sexual intercourse for both male and female. Public education. to create awareness on economic impacts of HIV AIDS, especially to the children on areas whereby maybe uh, the children have been left without parents. So the consequences have big economic impacts. So there are so many methods uh, that can be applied and uh, most of those methods that are applied to deal with HIV AIDS are preventive. So at that point we'll have an assignment So the first question what is the cause agent of AIDS number 2 
Name three methods through which AIDS is transmitted. And B, name three methods through which AIDS can be prevented. So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.